The United States Governor Samuel Autumn on Thursday said Abuja is the only federal capital territory in the world where cows are allowed to move freely and graze on beautification flowers that government spent so much money to plant. The governor who believed in ranching expressed dismay that cattle are allowed to move freely and encroach into people's farms. Autumn stated this through a virtual conferencing during the press week of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, the FCT Abuja chapter, stating that Nigeria has less than 20 million cattle, which could also be easily ranched. Unfortunately, the cows are allowed to either roam the streets freely or encroach on people's farms, and other investments creating all sorts of social and economic sabotage. He expressed that farmers and animal husbandry could increase production. Using modern technology of ranching instead of allowing cattle to destroy people's farms. With arable land of just 2% and population less than 9% that of Nigeria, the ranches and animal husbandry agriculture subsector of the Netherlands exported meat worth over 21 billion euros, about 9 trillion naira. Between 2016 and 2018 only. Ranching by law and policy, therefore, if properly implemented in our country, will also yield similar results and have great positive impact on our economic diversification, dreams, and our food security. This is a bitter truth that the government does not want to hear, the Buhari does not want to hear, and all his supporters, including the northern governors. It is only in Abuja that you see, across that, of all the capital uh, cities in the whole world, it is only in Abuja, the Nigerian capital, that you see cows grazing on flowers that are meant for beautification of structures and other environments in the country. And nothing seems to be wrong with that, and nobody goes against that. And don't forget that these flowers, or beautification flowers, were planted with a huge amount of money. Don't forget that. So the question is, to what end? To what end is the um, beautification flowers? And why were they, were they planted if they were meant to be grazed upon? Why do we have cows moving around our roads, defecating on our roads, destroying the roads, causing nuisance on the roads, and all that? It tells you to a very large extent that the government and the country is a lawless one that does not want things to be structured. In a civilized country where things are structured, you cannot see cows anywhere moving or grazing around the road. It, it doesn't make sense. And that is why ranching is the best option. So Governor Autumn has said the truth and has spoken it the way it is. It is left for the federal government and other northern governors to take it and act upon it. And until we do so, we might just be running around circles or de dealing with issues that we are not meant to be dealing with. The Northerners must understand that this is not just a country for the Fulanese, and it is beyond them. If they want to accommodate other tribes in the country, they must succumb to ranching. Grazing is outdated. Open grazing is outdated. Ranching is the in thing that everybody has to adopt. So they must accept ranching as the normal form of rearing cattle as it is right now. And that is what is obtainable in the countries. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what it is. That is what is obtainable. You cannot change it. That is what is obtainable. Take it or leave it. So be that as it were, guys, we must, as a people, understand and begin to draw the attention of people, the, the government, 
to this issue, we must apply pressure. We don't have to be violent about it. Just apply pressure. Tweet about it. Talk about it. Write articles about it. You know, raise issues about it. Grant interviews about it. Put pressures on it, on the government, to know that this is what is the best practice around the world. Our leaders travel outside the country to different countries and places, and they hear it and they see it. You get a point. So as it is, you must, we must as a people, continue to speak out. Nothing like Ruga. Anybody who wants to wreck a tool, it is an individual business, should go and ranch. Look for land, buy land yourself if you want to buy, or lease land as the case may be, and put your cattle there and ranch it. If you want to grow, go and grow it, or people that are growing grasses and their cattle feeds, go and patronize them, buy and feed your cattle. Then when you want to sell your cattle, you sell your cattle, then you make your money and everybody is happy. Nobody, farmers, uh, crops are not destroyed, their lands are not, you know, uh, 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 are not trampled upon. At the same time, there is no issue of farmers and headers clashes. These and many more are the issues that uh, the solution to this issue of farmers and headers clashes. But the government intentionally does not want to adhere or take to these solutions. And we must not keep quiet because if we keep quiet, they will continue to address this issue. If they will continue to, 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 to uh, pull, make us feel like they, what they want or impose what they want on us, we must not allow it. We must not allow it. Until we get to that point whereby we begin to demand for our rights, as most people have been doing and speaking up for it, the government would not want to listen. They might just want to play with us and uh, try to impose themselves on us. Nigerians are waking up, but we can do more. The youths are speaking up, but they can do more. So this is what it is. If other governors who share the same opinion with Governor Samuel Autumn can rise up and speak out, then Nigeria will be a better place. We would uh, be a better country. Things will be done the way it ought to be done, and everybody will be happy. So it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.